Oh my God, is this thing on? Receiving your content. Oof. Love to be received. Love to be received. <laughs> what up, everyone? It's been a while. I don't even know if I'm going to like remember how to like do this right now. It's been so damn long. <clears throat> I still have a runny nose. It's been three weeks and I still have a runny nose. I'm so over it. Um, what up, everyone? How's it going? It's been a while. What up, Sarah Sweet Tea? I love that name, Sarah Sweet Tea. What up, Rebecca? What up, Burger Cheese? Oh my God, that reminds me of Vanderpump Rules and Jack's and Brittany's failed attempt at beer cheese business or whatever. Um, I miss you, dude. It's been so long. Let me got the water here. See, I almost feel like I shouldn't even be doing this anymore, but whatever. Trendsetter. I'm just kidding. I'm not a trendsetter. <laughs> Drink all the water. Drink all of it. You actually caught the beginning of a live. I know it's a Wednesday at three o'clock. I literally, oh, I don't have my phone. Fuck, oh well. Um, it's three o'clock. It's probably better that I don't have my phone. Um, it's Wednesday. I can actually like go on at a decent time. I'm not like in a computer lab or whatever, or a science lab until like nine o'clock at night. Chantel stole your stick. Sha I mean, I don't, it's, she didn't necessarily steal it. Like, let's be real. Like, I didn't invent, invent like, ice water mukbangs or whatever. But I do find it a tad bit hilarious that, like, she's going to start live streaming ice water. Like, it's a bit, it's a bit ironic. Like, girl, bye. It's a bit ironic. Girl, I've been going through it. Also... In the in the in the spirit of Chantel, what oh monk's mad. <laughs> in the spirit of Chantel, what kind of what's your theme for this month? What's your um, your new year? I don't even know. I I like semi watched that video. I don't really know what the fuck she was talking about. My theme for 2019 is get shit done. I don't know if that's your guys's. I don't know if your theme is balloons for the month of January. I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, I'm going to react to a couple Amberlynn videos. A lot of people have been like, oh, we want you to react to this. We want you to react to that. I'm going to react to the doctor's appointment video today. I'll probably react to, I don't know, the grocery haul. I want to react to one of the... Um, Theme is survive fifth year of uni. I feel you on that. I feel you completely on that, Miss Lam, Lam, Lamisital, Lamisital. Um, my nose is still. I had the flu like three weeks ago, <laughs> and my nose is still running. Like I don't even understand. Like you can still, I can still hear it in my voice. Um, my theme is do work, son. I like that theme. I like themes where that are like real ass themes real you know real ass adult shit doing real ass fuck i don't know dude if 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 i ever come on here at 30 years old and i'm like i'm doing themes for this like girl bye <laughs> like i can't i fucking can't react to yeah i'm gonna react to the 2019 but i also want to find i was looking for one of her old um January, because she's done a lot of these New Year, New Me's bullshit, so I wanted to react to, like, a new one. New Year, who dis? Yeah, we can do this one. That was literally a year ago. She's Literally, if you type in Amberlynn Reed New Year, like, five videos pop up that she's done for the New Year's. So we'll react to one of those as well. You caught me live. You sure did. No procrastination 2019. I feel bad. I feel like I feel like I've been like aloof or not aloof, elusive. Aloof's not the right word. I have this other thing on my head that I've been like I've been aloof about it, but um, I feel like kind of like bad about like being so I don't know, like non consistent, I guess is the right word. Sapphire Jackson, love your channel. Thank you so much for the super chat. Love your channel. You're my favorite. It's my birthday. Woo, happy birthday. I'm so glad you're here. Um, it's been like, 
I don't know. So, like, a lot of you guys know, like, I live with, like, an older grandparent. Like, she's 80. She's, I think she's over 80 now. Um, I don't really ask her her age because that's rude. Um, she, I don't want to, like, divulge too much or whatever. Like, I got the flu, and I feel really bad because she, in turn, got the flu because we don't live in, like, a giant house or anything. And I still have to, like, take care of the dogs and cat litter and all you know do all that like normal shit like i have to clean and everything even though when i'm sick that makes me like kind of sympathize with like kind of like what a a parent must do when they're sick like i have no idea like how parents do it because like honest to god like i was just i don't know like when i'm sick like i can barely handle doing things for myself so it's like it's so, i could not imagine what like a mom or a dad has to do like when it comes to like you know, like, it was hard for me. Like, I didn't go to work. I didn't go to work that Friday because I was like, um, I'm about to go here and get everyone sick before Christmas. So, like, I cannot imagine, like, hey, Shivy. Oh, my God, girl. Hey. So, I got the flu. I ended up giving her the flu. And as a lot of people know, like, the flu is extremely dangerous with older people. And she already deals with, like, congestive heart failure and, like, all this other stuff. So, it was, like, it was a very, it was very stressful. And it was very much, like trying to get someone to like I don't know it was like a very yeah I don't want to like divulge like too much but it was like it was very stressful and my anxiety is like at all-time all high right now because of it and um I just I don't know that's just like where I've been putting my focus is that in school so or that in work not school I'm not a school right now so Sorry for being, like, so gone or whatever. I'm going to try to make some more videos. <laughs> um, but it's just... Life ha You know, this is, to me, is a hobby or whatever. I write, like, on a hobby, it's, like, come in here and, like, talking shit about, like, people, like... You know, it, it just... It is. It's, like, I don't plan on this being, like, my... Career. I know, like, a lot of people go into this being, like, oh, this could be a career for me. Like, I personally don't want to be beholden to um, the YouTube viewers or whatever. Like, that's just, like, not my jish. Like, I would much rather, like, work a normal-ish kind of job with normal b benefits. Lucas Kuhn, thank you so much for the $2 super chat. One of my fave YouTubers finally caught you live. Nikki, Tur I'm going to say that not wrong, Tarong. Love you. Love you, too. Hey, love you. So, yeah. Um, that's, like, where I've kind of, like, it's just like where my headspace is, I guess, lately, you know? And when school's out, I work more because I can't work as much when I'm at school. So I go back to 35 hour weeks for like the little bit I can. So that way I can um, keep, well, I mean, I save, I'm a, I'm a nickel and dimer. That's like one thing Amber Lynn and I have like very different, like we're very different in that aspects. Like, when I buy things, I make sure I have the money for it. Like, I don't, like, just, like, see the numbers in my bank account, and I'm like, ooh, let's spend it. Like, that's very not me, and that's not how, like, I was raised. My grandma grew up um, with her dad be go going to, like, Vietnam War and, like, all this stuff, and, like, she remembers, like, having to, like, live at home alone with, like, her brother and her mom and, like, how they didn't have a lot of money and, like, that, you know, like, she, so she kind of instilled a lot of that in me. So, like, we're m big about, like, saving a lot of our money. Like, like I, a lot of, you know, like, I have, like, a, like, I have my truck or whatever. Like, we, I paid for that. Like, it was, like, mm, done. Like, uh, Michael, what's your job job? I'm not going to tell because I don't really want people to, like, start harassing me at work i don't know i've gotten some like annoying instagram dms and stuff lately about people like trying to say that they're gonna do something to me or try to get me like kicked out of stuff and kicked out of work and fired and da da da, da. so i'm not about to like divulge too much about that unfortunately um what kind of work do I i'll just put it this way i'm essentially like a very glorified assistant like i i'm like i work as like an assistant pretty much. Like I just like do a lot of filing, a lot of answering emails, a lot of answering phone calls, a lot of like cleaning, like, like that's just like what I, I work like in an office. So like, it's like an office job. It's like the office, but like not as incompetent or funny, <laughs> if that makes sense.
so yeah that's just like kind of like i love my job like i love the the women i work with i like i love they're hilarious they treat me like their little uh grandson and like they they you know they're like mijo like that like they talk to me all crazy they like to talk shit about me in spanish a lot too and i can kind of pick up on what they're saying just because i've taken a lot of spanish in high school and stuff like i can't speak spanish like god like i can well i don't want to say i can't speak spanish but like my spanish is very broken it's not like fluent but i can like get by if i need to so when they say some things, I'm like, bitch, you just say that. You just call me Gordo. Like, you just call me ugly. Like, you know, like, I heard that, but I know it's all with love and shit. So it's like, whatever, you know. It's cold. It's, I'm, I'm a desert rat, and it's been so, do they pinch your cheeks? Sometimes. Especially when they're, like, at the Christmas party and stuff, and they're, like, fucking faded. <laughs> There's, like, nothing better than, like, a bunch of, like, 50-year-old, like, Latino women like coming up to you and being like, oh my God. Victoria Ann donated $14.48. Happy New Year, Michael. I love your videos and, and, and you sending you lots of finger hearts. Hey, finger hearts, K-pop finger hearts. I know like some people have like a little bit of like issue with my finger hearts, but I love my finger hearts. And you know what? I'm gonna continue using them. And when I see Blackpink and Coachella, I'm going to use them then too, bitch. Okay, so that's like, I guess an announcement or whatever. Um, I made the decision. I have not been to Coachella Fest since 2009. 2009? No, I think it was 2010. I went when Jay-Z, the Gorillas, and Tiesto were headlining. I believe that was 2010. So it's been nine years since I've gone to Coachella Fest or whatever. I saw Ariana Grande. I saw Blackpink. I was like, I have to go. So I ended up buying a ticket. I don't know if I'm going to go for sure or not. <laughs> like, I want to go, but my anxiety, I don't know how my anxiety is going to handle it. I think I'm going to have to wait and see, like, a week or two prior how I'm feeling about, um, how I'm feeling about it. So, but the plan right now is to go, like, because I can do my ground. I, I looked online and, um, I looked online and, that was 2010, right? Medium Eddie said that was 2010. I looked online and like you can bring medication in there if you want to. Um, isn't the owner of Coachella a homophobic lobbyist? I, probably. I'm sure there's. I mean, girl, like am, if I like lived a life of not doing things because like someone was like in, who was in charge of it was a piece of shit, like I would not be able to do anything. Like that's just like a fa like I understand that like you know pay with your dollar, blah blah blah. But like I look at it this way, like. I'm from here, that festival has done so much for my hometown. Like it's literally the city of, in like people don't realize this, but a lot of people think that Coachella Fest happens in Coachella, it doesn't. It happens in Indio, California, which is like where I'm from. Um, that festival alone has brought so much money and so many jobs to the people that live around here. So I'm not going to like sit here and be like, don't go, like don't support my community. Bitch, come support my community. Come spend these dollars, okay? Because like, yes, people spend money to go to Coachella Fest, but people spend a hell of a lot more money on the surrounding area and, um, and, the, and the people that live here. And that's a city that needs the money. They needed the money and it has uplifted and like, drastically changed that city. That city was very poor. I mean, it's not like the most like bomb city in the world or whatever right now, but that 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 festival alone has uplifted so many lives and changed so many different lives and so many businesses. So it's like, I'm, I understand, like I've read some of the articles about him or whatever. Yeah, he sounds like a true piece of shit. It is what it is though. Like, I don't know, like I'm I'm gonna go. I need to see, I will have no other opportunity to see Ariana Grande and Blackpink at the same time, okay? So that's just like where it, I'm gonna go. It's like, it is what it is. Like, and it, it does a lot more good than I think bad. And like, yeah, he probably does some awful ass shit. Like, it is what it is. I'll like spend my dollars differently or whatever. I, there's certain things I don't do or whatever, but it's just, it is what it is, you know? Uh, Victoria and donated twenty dollars. No, it's supposed to be twenty nineteen. Oh, for the new year. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Thank you so much, Law. I love that. So yeah, but yeah, I'm going to be going to Coachella Fest this year. I don't know if I'm going to vlog it per se because I kind of I'm one of those people that wants to live in the moment. So I don't like to like 
that's one thing that's really hard about vlogging is constantly pulling out your camera and like another thing that apparently is hard about vlogging is pulling out your camera. Apparently it's too hard to do, to hold this. You want to know something funny? Okay, Meredith, please do a video about Rylan and Morgan being mooches. Girl. I don't honestly I mean, sugar daddy, sugar babies, sugar whatever. Like, I think in general, especially on a platform like YouTube, there's going to be people who mooch. Like, I, I mean, you could say I'm a mooch. Like, I sit on here and I talk about people that have, like, a bigger audience than I do. And I know that their names bring in um, views for my channel. I just, the thing that gets me is, like, I don't, I hate how, I, the, the thing that really gets me is, like, how materialistic they are or whatever. Like, they just seem like they love, they love, it's not even so much that they, like, love, I mean, I don't know, they probably love Shane, but, like, it, it's, they love the, like, the lifestyle more, and, like, that gets to me. Like, the whole, like, oh, my God, look at our G-Wagon, oh, my God, like, we're doing a fucking Gucci haul, like, oh, my God, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, you wouldn't have done all that shit before Shane Dawson. So, I don't, you know, I don't know, but I was going to say, like, one of the parts that's hardest about vlogging is, you know, is taking your camera out, flipping the viewfinder, and hitting the power button. Look how hard that was, guys. Look how hard that was. I don't know how people do it. I don't know how people vlog. It's so hard. I don't know. Like, we literally have the same camera, and she was, like, talking about, like, how bulky it is. This thing is tiny. This thing is lighter than an iPhone. We literally, we also have the same iPhone. So, like, this thing is tiny. It is tiny. It is not big. It is not heavy. I don't understand. When you have 105,000 subscribers or whatever, it's time to step your pussy up. Like, that's all I, that's all I can think about is, like, this is all, this is what it is for you. Like, it's time to step the pussy up. It's time to invest in a real ring light. It's time, you know, all of that good that good shit that makes your channel what it is. I mean, I understand that like she's growing at an exponential rate, but it's like no one's gonna take you seriously if you refuse to like. I don't know. It's just annoying. I don't get it. I don't understand. I, I feel like that's like a big slap in the face to her to her uh, her view her viewer base or her fans if she has any. Let's get into a react. I want to react to the doctor thing because I have a lot of things to say. I know Zach's done this already. Um, it's funny when you type in Amberlynn Reed, like my video pops up. <laughs> I feel so bad. Not really. I feel kind of bad. A part of me is like, you have a heart. But then a part of me is like, do you though? That's awful. Oh, that's the wrong, the wrong video. Oops. Today is Friday. Ooh, it's loud. A real streamer would have figured this out a long time, or fixed this a long time ago. What's the button? This is the button. To scoot over to the right. Scoot over to the right. Okay. Friday, the 21st of December, and I just wanted to start a vlog and oh, let you guys please. know that today is actually my appointment. My appointment's in 32 minutes from now, and it's pretty close to where I live. I love how, like, the, um... Live, so I didn't have... I love how, like, she was supposed to go to that doctor's appointment, like, a week or two before that, but she was like, I didn't have a ride. <laughs> it's like, uh... Where are all your friends? Where's Becky? Where's Ricky? Where's Uber? Where's, if it's right, I don't know. That was crazy. I have to leave quite yet, but I'm probably gonna leave in, I don't know, like 10 minutes or so. But yeah, it's my appointment for my leg. As you guys know, my whole leg issue has been going on. And today is actually the first day where it's felt pretty good. Like it doesn't hurt she as- probably got up and moved around bad as usual which is really crazy to me but I think it's because I have been moving more the last few days I've been just doing a little bit more walking a um, little bit more walking than I usually do so that makes me feel like it is a pulled muscle I don't know but <laughs> spoiler alert uh Amberlynn believes it is a pulled muscle 
<laughs> I watched uh, CXNT's live stream the other day, and it is in fact a pulled muscle because Amberlynn is a doctor, and she can just she can diagnose herself at this point. So yeah. When I'm going to see the doctor, she'll be able to tell me what it is. Hopefully. I'm just hoping that she doesn't have any like feelings of it being a blood clot because then I'm gonna have to get an ultrasound. And I remember people being like, it could be a blood clot. It could be a blood clot. I don't think it was a blood clot. I didn't, I never thought it was a blood clot from the jump because honestly, like I have, I know people that have had blood clots. They're intense. They're not, you're not like, you're not like, I may have a blood clot. It's not that dude. Like literally your entire leg is beat ass red it's swollen it's uh it's hot to the touch like that you know like it is giant it hurts any little bit of pressure on it like i remember my friend saying like he couldn't even put like shorts on it was so bad so i mean i never personally thought it was a blood clot i thought that it was just she has like lymphedema and like she's probably not walking around or whatever so i don't know and I've had ultrasounds in my legs before, or on my legs before, not in my legs, but on my legs before, and it hurts really bad because they have to press, like, really hard, so... Because there's a lot of fluid and, like, fat, so, like, they, in order for them to see the veins and the muscle, they have to push really deep, and ultrasounds are not, like, sonars and submarines, like, it's... They don't... They're not made for people that, like, have that amount of fat around their legs or their bodies. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'm hoping I can just tell her my symptoms and she can take a look at it and do whatever she has to do. And just tell me good news. That's just what I'm hoping for. So yeah, today's the appointment. I think she went in there with the, like the pre, the, oh my God, what's the word? With the pre, oh my God, I can't think of the word. She went in there like she manifested what she wanted. <laughs> so I think that like when she initially went in there, she was like, well, I want to go in there and I want to receive good news. And even if I receive bad news, I'm going to receive good news. I'm nervous, but I don't know. I think the biggest thing for me is, yeah, I don't want it to be a blood clot, but just the fact that nurses and doctors have to look at my leg today makes me feel uncomfortable because if someone was to ask me, like, what's something that I'm, like, least happy about with my body? I don't think a nurse or a doctor is going to go in there and ask you what's something that you're least happy about your body. <laughs> like, I just don't see that. I don't really see a nurse or a doctor. I don't think that they would ever say that. I don't think they'd be like, so what are you least happy about with your body? Like, when you're with your body image. Like, a predisposition, that's, that's the word. Um, a predisposition. I don't see a doctor or a nurse going there and being like, so what do you not, what do you not like about yourself? Like, that, what is this, the swan? Like, no one is going to, like, ever say that to you. Like, they're going to ask you, like, what is, like, what health problems are you having? Like, what kind of um, issues or health-related issues are you having? But, like, that's something more that I feel like a therapist would ask, to be real. Like, if they were, you know, like, what are you, what is, what's bothering you? Like, what, if there's something you could change about your body, what would it be? Like, I, I, even then, I don't think a therapist would say that. She has this very interesting, she, you know what it is, is I think that she has received a lot of real talk from doctors in the past, from when she's gone to the ER. And that's the thing, too, is when you come into the ER as someone who is fat and has been a lot fatter, <laughs> When you go into the ER as like a really big patient and you're in there for essentially non-emergency um, issues, it's not that the doctors and nurses like take offense to it. They are just like, they can become kind of annoyed because you're essentially like taking up space and time for someone that could like put that needs there to be there that is an emergency case or whatever like you went in there for heartburn like there's no reason for you to be in here right so and i also think that like when a doctor sees you they have very limited time with you so i think that she's received you know, it, it reminds me of, like, the people in, like, the body positivity movements or whatever that are, like, doctors are fat phobic or, like, doctors are da 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 And it's, like, doctors aren't fat phobic. They're just, like, telling you what it is. And, like, if you being morbidly obese is unhealthy and dangerous, they, could, they it's their job to tell you that. It's not their job to sit there and, like, lie to you and be, like, oh, yeah, you're fine. Like, so I think that she's encountered that 
and like I said, the only time she has seen a doctor has been this person, and then in the ER, or like in, I don't even think she's gone to urgent care, because I don't even think Amberlynn knows what urgent care is. <laughs> so I think that, um, I think that that's what she's encountered, and so that's where she gets her, like, her, her, her like, her predisposition to, like, what a doctor's going to do or say. And she thinks that that's, like, what, like, that's how every doctor is. And typically a general practitioner doctor or whatever will handle you a little bit more gentler than, like, an emergency physician. Because, like, an emergency physician is, like, no bullshit, cut to, to the chase, blah, blah, blah. I remember one time I went in there, like, I had this really horrible leg pain. Or, oh, my God. I don't even want to talk about it. It's so ridiculous. It's so long ago. Anyway, let's keep going body or like what I'm most subconscious about it would definitely be my legs 100% legs so I'm not looking forward to that and I kind of feel ashamed because my weight gain and stuff like that so we'll just see what my doctor has to say for me and I will keep you guys updated and let you know everything that's said but as of you know what bothers me a little bit about her is Brooke B82 thank you so much for the super chat thanks girl thanks um her teeth and her skin color are the same. Right now, I'm pretty freaking nervous. So. Like, I know that I am, like, I kind of have a cheat sheet because, like, I am tan or whatever. So, like, my skin color is naturally, like, darker than, like, a white person's. But, like, there's contrast. Like, it bothers me that there's no contrast between her teeth and her skin. Like, they're all the same color. And it bothers me because it's like she has, like, flesh teeth. And, like, it, I don't like it. Oh, That's okay. being really petty. It's been kind of a long day, but here we are back home. It is nighttime. I'm really trying to work on my sleeping schedule. Oh, she said nighttime. Ah, fuck, I was hoping for dark time. I like dark time. So it's almost going to be 10, so I really wanted to film this and get to bed at a decent hour because I'm really, really, really trying to work. If I have to hear this woman complain about how she needs to go to bed at a normal hour, like... Literally, you do nothing. So, like, for you to sit here and, like, lie about having insomnia, the girl does not even... That's one thing that gets me, too. I suffer from insomnia. I sleep maybe four hours a day. Like, I just don't sleep well. Even when I take an Ativan or a Trazodone, like, I just don't sleep well. I don't know what it is. I've had tons and tons... I haven't had tons. I've had two sleep studies done. I don't have, like, sleep apnea or anything like that. I didn't have sleep apnea when I was at my highest, either. Um... I just don't sleep well. I don't know what it is. I've tried numerous, numerous um, sleeping medications. I've tried um, Lunesta. I've tried Ambien. I hated it. Like, I hated it. So, I don't take... So, like, I've just gotten into the routine of, like, well, I'm only going to sleep four hours a day. Like, that just is what it is. And I think what it is, too, is I'll sleep four hours, and then I go to work, do all my shit, and then I come home, and I'll take, like, an hour and a half nap. So, um, so I guess I sleep five and a half hours a day, six hours, but like I, she doesn't suffer from, when she, when she comes on here, she's like, oh, I went to bed at, at noon and I woke up at eight. You slept for eight hours, which I would love to sleep for a solid straight hours. You know, like I would k kill to like be able to sit there and like sleep for a solid eight hours. That's not insomnia. That's just you having no routine, no any kind of uh, schedule. Like, so when you're not beholden to, like, other people, you can sleep all after. You know what I'm saying? Like, because if, if, if your definition of insomnia is because you're sleeping through the day and not the night, what about everyone that works graveyard? <laughs> you know, like, what about every single person that has to work a graveyard shift. What about the truckers, the nurses, the doctors, the security guards, the police officers? What about the firefighters? All of those people that, you know, the people that work in Walmart, like all the people that have to stay up all night and work and then sleep when they get home during the day. Like my, like my mom's boyfriend or whatever, like he had to, he worked for the water district and he was a swing shift so he worked from like 12 to 8 in the afternoon. Was it 12 to 8? It was like 2 to 10, I think, actually. 2 to 10. And then he would come home at like 11. And then he would be up until like 4 in the morning. And then he would sleep from like 4 in the morning to noon. Like, does that mean he had insomnia because he's not sleeping when other people do? Like, no. It's just like he has a different sleep schedule. EastEnder, I'm so glad I caught your life. Thank you so much for the super chat. Brock Bravo, Petty King, and True Taylor, best commentary by far. Thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, so, yeah, her 
a definition of what insomnia is is not what insomnia is. She's just lazy and has nothing to do all day. On that because that's important for me. So I'm going to explain everything that happened at the doctor's today. And oh, and when I talk about body positivity, this woman right here, nothing about this thing is this person is body positive, just for the record. And I will like argue any body positive person till the cows come home about shit like this. Last time I went to the doctor and I shared what happened, there were a lot of people who called me a liar. So just to get that out right now, there is no lying in this video. No. If someone has to start their video off with there's no lying in this video, I'm not lying in this video, they're going to probably lie. Like if your disclaimer before you even start your video is like, I don't, I'm not going to lie in this video, you're probably going to lie. And also, I feel like that like speaks to the pattern of behavior with her when it comes to um, her, her lying. Like, it, you know, like I think that a normal individual, like I don't think I've ever had to like, I don't think I've, I've watched a lot of YouTube and I've watched a lot of other YouTubers. I don't think that I've ever encountered another YouTuber being like, by the way, I'm not going to lie in this video. Like, I think it's implied that like what you're telling is the truth. Right? Like, so for her to, like, be like, I'm not lying in this video. Like, you're clearly about to lie to us. So, whatever. Exaggerating. This is my true story of what happened today. And there are some things in This is in my true story of what happened I'm today. Keyword being story. Not really wanting to share or wanting to admit or anything like that. But I know I'm going to get a lot of questions. If I just upload a video that says, hey, I went to the doctor. And then that was that. So I feel like it's important that I just let it all out now. I'm the type of person that when I sit down to film like a story type deal and I ex want to explain something, I really want to just like explain everything. <laughs> Girl, like you're, you are such a fibber. Like you lie all the time and you lie by omission all the time. There's so many things, there's so many examples of like you See, she's I, she's not even a really good liar to be real, because like she, um, she, she can't she can't keep up with her lies a lot of the time. But the thing that like kind of gets me too with her is her like her need or her want of just like wanting to always think that she has like she's smarter than, and so she's she thinks that like we're not gonna catch on to like a lot of this shit like. But you don't tell the truth a lot. Like, when the whole Rafe and your cat situation went down, like, we know for a fact you weren't telling the truth. Like, when Destiny broke up with you, we knew for a fact that, like, that had happened weeks prior and that you were, like, forcing her to sleep in your bed with her. Like, we knew all this shit because we're not idiots. It's not hard to, like, follow the bouncing ball. So. <laughs> so we're going to start whatever. with the fact that when I got into the doctor's office, there was nowhere for me to sit because my ass is too big to fit in the chairs. Zachary and I were talking about this and he actually brought this point up. This is like a really good point. She's claimed that she's gone to this doctor's office before. So she should have known that she wasn't going to fit, right? Like that only makes the most sense. She should have known that because she's been there and she's been there recently. This wasn't like she was there two years ago, 200 pounds ago. She knew that she has that those um she knew that those chairs don't fit she doesn't fit in those chairs. So I, it, right away, I mean I remember watching that and I was like kind of coming to that conclusion too, but like Zach like really reinforced that for me. He was saying like look like what are you talking about? Like that doesn't make any fucking sense. Like you've been here before, right? So has she been to that doctor before? Is this a new doctor? Is the doctor's office new? I don't know. It just reinforces that, like, belief that a lot of us have that she's just lying again. So it is what it is. And also, let's just keep going. So I had to walk from the car into the doctor's. Wow. So hard for you. Like, if, if I mean, girl, a 28-year-old woman, a 28-year-old woman is sitting here talking about how she had to walk from the car inside. Like, she should have been, like, carried in, like, Jabba the Hutt or something. Like, that is ridiculous. Like, that is such a crazy... Like, do you know how many people who can't walk would love to be able to, like, say that sentence out loud? <sighs> I can't. Uh, Stacy Bennington, thank you so much for the super chat. Rebel, the girl in the chat said, if you look up la in the dictionary, there's a picture of Errol next to it, but it was too funny to not be noticed. <laughs> If you look up la, but um, 
it's like there's so many people out there that can't walk that would love to be able to say like oh i walked from the car to the doctor's office or whatever like she talks like it's like some feat like that she's done it like she made it you guys she did it she walked from the car to the doctor bitch that's given like you should be able to do that like you don't have any kind of debilitating like handicap or something you know you're not like you're not physically enable of like walking you should be able to walk like i don't understand why that i mean if that doesn't prove how like kind of gone she is then i don't know what does you know which for me is already hard enough and then the dragon said she wouldn't survive working an actual physical job she had one of those jobs and she quit it because she said sitting was too hard literally all we've seen this bitch do I was going to try to not call her a bitch in this video. <laughs> a lot of people have been getting on me about seeing the, saying the B word a lot. It's so hard to like get that out of my vernacular because everyone's a B. But um, she has had a job in the past. And she quit it after like two, three weeks because she couldn't handle sitting all day. When all we've literally seen her do for the past two years is sit. Every vlog is her sitting, sitting in a car sitting in a restaurant, sitting in the dining room, sitting in her bed. And her complaint was that she couldn't sit at her job for eight hours. She's like, oh, when I'm at home, I get... Like, bitch, getting up and going to the bathroom every, like, two hours isn't getting up and moving around. Like, ugh, it's annoying. Every single one of the chairs had those arms on it, but they were definitely tiny, trust me. I mean, for the average person, I'm sure... I mean, I'm a big boy. I have a big old donk. I have a big ass. I have my mom's ass. Um, I will admit, like, even and even since I've lost weight, I live in a world not meant for tall ass people pretty much or whatever. So my knees hit, like, the ends of things. That's just what it is. Um, Jazz. Amber Lymphedema. <laughs> Someone make the channel name. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um... I have encountered chairs or whatever that are snug on the chair on the arms or whatever. But the way that I hack that is I cross my legs because <laughs> it kind of like makes your like your hips narrow or whatever. If she could cross her legs, she'd probably be fine, but she can't. So I don't think I don't think Emily could cross her legs. I don't think Emily could sit like crisscross applesauce. I don't think Emily could get up off the floor. There's a lot of things I don't think Emily could do dandy but for someone like me i wasn't able to sit down so then i had to stand i had to stand for about 15 minutes and i'm not used to that i don't stand on the regular basis i don't stand that long on the regular basis the longest i stand is daily in the shower i try to take the fastest showers we know ever we, we can tell by the hair grease and the shit around your arms and all this that we we know that you don't like to be in like in standing and in the shower, we know, girl. We know that they're, them showers are fast. I am 6'6". Six, six. Um, if I guarantee you, if she came to that doctor's office and it was a struggle for her to stand there for that long waiting for her appointment, if Becky or if Amber came to her, came to one of the the um, the staff at the at the at the doctor's office and said, look, she can't stand for very long periods of time. She doesn't fit in the chair. They would have found a way to accommodate her. <laughs> I guarantee you they would have found a way to accommodate her and to, um, if it meant putting her in a, in a patient room quicker so she could be on one of those big table chair thingies or bringing her a stool of some kind, they would have found a way to accommodate her. <laughs> so I... Either she's too lazy or she's too ashamed or whatever to, like, go up and, like... Like, I... After I had my surgery, the chairs in the surgeon's office were really... Like, one issue that I have is a lot of chairs are super, like, low to the ground for me. Like, they're very, like... So, my, like, my knees are, like... Does this make sense? Like, my ass is down here and my knees are above, like, my ass... So they're like, it's like I'm in like stirrups. It feels like I'm in stirrups. Like when a woman goes to the gynecologist and they're like, their knees are up in the stirrups or whatever. It feels like that when I'm sitting down in a lot of chairs because the chairs are so low. So after you have like abdominal surgery, your muscles are like essentially dead. Like they like don't work right. And I remember I went to the doctor's office and I looked at the chairs and I was like, there ain't no way I'm able to sit in that chair and get up without like screaming in pain. And they're like, okay. And so they went and brought me a stool. So it's like, I guarantee you, I guarantee you 
if she had asked, they would have accommodated her. Never known in your life because it is a struggle for me. These things are are becoming a struggle and are a struggle. Which for they've me been a struggle. That's just how it is now. They've been so a then struggle. When they finally called me back. <laughs> you guys know when you go to hospitals or you go to like doctors, go down this hallway, go down that one, turn that way. She's such a storyteller. Like, girl. You, First of all, you were probably at a doctor's office at a strip mall. So let's not even pretend that you were, like, at some county hospital or something getting this done. Brock Bravo, thank you so much for the super chat. Her skin looks like silly putty. Got sick. It's disconcerting. Yeah. Uh, I agree with that. She's acting as if, like, I agree. When you go to a hospital, like, when we go to, like, the big hospital down here, there's a lot of hallways and stuff. There's a lot of walking involved. But, like, girl, you were probably at your doctor's office at a strip mall. Let's not pretend that, like, it's, like, the most giant practice that has ever existed, right? It's not like you were at, hey, girl, comics, hey, girl, hey, hey, Renee W2, hey, how's it going? Um, let's not pretend that, like, your doctor has, like, the biggest practice known to man and has, like, 20 patient rooms and they're all full. Like, that's not the case. Um we know for a fact that like it's not even that it's not even girl you're just exaggerating and maybe to you it felt like you had to walk down a bajillion hallways but i guarantee you probably took three lefts and you were there like it is it's her way or it's like her coping mechanism of making herself like um feel better about being like so winded about walking around go down this way, go down that hallway, and then that one. It's just like you're going down all these ways, and then finally when it's time to leave, you're, like, lost. <laughs> but no. I don't walk Only anymore. an idiot like, is lost, I'm sorry. I don't or if you're, like, at a hospital, legs. like I said. I really use them. I need to move more. I don't know what a Fitbit has to do with moving. You can move without your Fitbit. <laughs> you don't need a smartwatch or whatever to, like, get up and walk around and exercise. Obviously, because... This was so embarrassing. Mm. I was walking and walking and walking and walking to get to... She's... Dude, this walking... She is triggered by this walking. This walking is incredibly hurtful for her. This is bringing up a lot of negative memories for her. She is triggered as fuck by the amount of walking she had to do. The room that I was going to be seeing the doctor in, and I was, like, breathing exactly like this. <sighs> Sweet and savory podcast, savory. Shout out from Dana and Mandy, hashtag phantom leg. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super. I kind of like that name for a podcast, sweet and savory. I have to look that up, bitch. I kind of into that. Is this a podcast? Oh, I can't do it on here. All right, I'll have to remember. Someone, de someone message me th that name so I can look it up later. Because if I do it on here, it's going to fuck everything up. It's going to fuck everything up. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> like, it was so embarrassing. Because the nurse who called my name while I was in the waiting room was the one who saw me first and I couldn't catch my breath and uh, it was just really embarrassing. So that was the first thing that happened and I was trying to like crack jokes. I was like, oh, sorry, I have asthma or is it the weight? You that don't have like, asthma. I'm so awkward. Oh my God. It is who your weight. About stuff like that. So while I saw the nurse. The joke is that you would even make that joke. Like, girl. So what are you in for? And it's true. I she breathes like that all the time. Like, she's constantly, like, struggling to breathe. There's never... Her asthma is very... Conv like, it's whenever she's, like, she's had to do something, it seems like. Like, it's I just it's ridiculous. kept it short because that's usually what you do. I was just like, you know, I have some calf pain. I showed her where on my leg it's been hurting, and that was pretty much the gist of it. So as soon as my doctor came in, which I love my doctor, absolutely incredible doctor, but when my doctor came in and she said, so I heard you've been having some leg pain because obviously the nurse corresponds with the doctor before, you know, I'm seen. And she said, you know, I'm worried it's a blood clot. And then she asked me, you know, what are your symptoms? Talk more about it. Let me see it. Ooh. I knew she was gonna look at my leg. <laughs> right, because like she's said, a doctor. She part. can't like see through things. She's not Superman. <laughs> she's gonna have to like look at it with her eyeballs. Happen, like let's get real. I'm there for leg pain. Of course, they're gonna look at my leg. Once she finally looked at my leg, and she listened to my symptoms, she was like, "This is not a blood clot." Yeah, I didn't this think it was a blood, clot, a blood clot And I was like. <gasps> Oh, thank God. But I was like, what made you think it was, you know, initially? And she said that usually when people come in for leg pain, DDT. certain leg pain or calf pain, that it's worrisome that it correct. could be a blood clot. But once she heard 
my symptoms. Right. And- it's more than just being in pain. Like, people need to, like, realize that, like, having a blood clot is more than just, like, having pain in your leg. It would be red. It would be, like, extremely swollen. It, there'd be a edema. Like, there's a lot of things that, like, would require to come to, like, that realization that it could be a blood clot. I know people don't... I People don't fuck around when it comes to that shit because, like, a blood clot is extremely scary. And I understand that, like having pain like that like you would be like oh my god am i i mean i've had pain like that too before but it's like it's not it's usually there's a lot more things that require that are needed to like come to the conclusion that it is a blood clot so like i didn't think it was a blood clot by the way she was talking about it because i think it would be way more painful like i said and from what i've heard from friends it's way more painful than just be like it kind of hurts sometimes it's worse than that it's like the worst pain you'll ever experience um ashley sebastino your videos make my day. Thanks for making me laugh. Thank you so much for the super chat. Looked at my leg. I had no symptoms of a blood clot. So it turns out that I am losing a lot of circulation in that leg. Um, how right. I-, I mean, she has lymphedema. So like lymphedema is essentially a lack of circulation, especially with your lymphatic system to your legs. Like you've lost a lot of your lymph, your lymph nodes and your lymphatic system and are not able to like properly circulate the water and all the stuff in your body so that way so it deposits in like really weird areas and really weird in in tissue and really weird so like duh you have poor circulation in your brain because or your brain i mean that's true too but like you have poor circulation to your leg so like therefore you have lymphedema and we can all see that like if you if you look at lymphedema or whatever it you, you and you look and you look up like Amberlyn. Like I know she wears those black tights or whatever, but like it's gotten so bad that like even in her like holy tights or whatever, you can see just how disfigured her legs have become. Like they don't look like normal legs anymore. That's lymphedema. So I don't know. She's. I think any like person with like any kind of brain would like come to that deduction that like yeah you have lost a lot of circulation in your legs. I sit, how I sleep, just how I do things. And she explained or a the lack of why doing when I things stand or when I walk, that's why I don't feel pain anymore. Right, because you're you're manually helping that the the blood and the water and all the lymphatic the lymphatic the lymphatic fluid like move around because you are at a state where like you cannot um you've gotten to a point where you can't like your your body cannot keep up with like the load that it's bearing anymore. So like it's starting to give up. Which I've explained to you guys before that when I stand or when I walk or when my legs are straight and not, you know, bent in any sort of way, that's when I no longer feel pain because my blood, the air, the oxygen and just everything, all the human body little circulation tidbits are able to circulate easier when I'm up legs are straight you know right. things like that and i was like are you for <laughs> when real you exercise your body right is now? better so i am Surprise. just so glad that i don't have you learned it here first folks trust me i was worried becky was worried becky's family was worried eric and, and that's about as far as it goes <laughs> y'all, those are the only like, people we know <laughs> y'all were worried I, i've had so many people message me and it's been a wild wild last two months because that's how long it's been it's crazy and that like you would allow this to continue for so long like that's the thing that like that gets me kind of like well like if i don't feel well or whatever and i think it warrants a trip to the doctor's office i don't wait two months to make an appointment and also when i make that appointment because of something i'm super concerned about i don't skip it like i go to it you know like there'd be no point like when i have horrible migraines or whatever like i go and i make an appointment to see the neurologist and like i figure it the fuck out like i don't wait until you know and i don't skip i don't i mean i also live in an area where there's tons of fucking people and typically it takes like for a specialist it can take up to a month to see someone Sweet and savory podcast. Zachary said he'd cast with us. You, Zach, Mandy, and me. It sounds like a four-way. I'm fucking down. I love being on podcasts. I was on Survive Sleeve Slay's podcast, uh, Mom Spaghetti. Check it out, by the way, if you haven't checked it out. I did an episode with her. It was a fucking hoot. It was a holler. I loved it. So if you all want me on podcasts, I'm down to talk. I fucking love talking. I love hearing myself talk. It is all of those things. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just don't see the point in... Um, 
I don't see the point in if you're really terrified about these things, then you should just go and check it out. Like, go and do it. Like, it's it doesn't make sense to cancel all the time. And I'm just so glad that, that that's not what's wrong with me. But I do have some bad newses. Some bad newses. <laughs> I do have some bad news. I like so, Twinkie's collar in the background. Let's just continue on. Let's just be grateful that I don't have a blood clot. Um, and we're just going to move forward and prevent you, blood Jesus. clots at all costs. So I have blood been to, all costs. to my doctor Glotisha. how I sleep at night. We're going to fix it, Glotisha. Ask me if I use all these pillows, you know, and I always say that I don't because I really don't. Um, I use about three pillows and um, I, I, don't, I don't want to like really admit this because this is something that recently started. It actually started in 2018, so it has started this it year. It started before that. I'm it started, I distinctly remember her talking about having to sleep sitting up like a long time ago. When I sleep. And I know that that is worrisome because everyone yeah is normal people don't have to sleep sitting up <laughs> i sleep completely fucking flat like i have a bunch of pillows on my bed christina lopez i finally got you live and i've been bringing binging on all your videos love you so much thank you so much for the super chat christina lopez hey girl hey um i have a bunch of pillows that i use when i'm like watching tv and stuff but when i sleep i like just use my tempur-pedic pillow that's the only pillow i use and i sleep like pretty much prone like as flat as you can be most people will sleep like that like most people don't need to sleep like up like unless you have like some some people will have like deviated septums or have some kind of like breathing issues typically have to sleep more elevated or whatever but not completely up like not completely upright most people don't sleep completely upright usually there's something going on but completely upright all the time like that's not a good the something is very wrong so it's down when they sleep this is probably one of the reasons why i didn't want to share it <laughs> me with too you guys i sleep without a pillow i could sleep without a pillow i could sleep easily i always wondered why do i feel better sleeping sitting up and because um, you can't breathe when you're my I know voice a lot cracked of people would use that against me so it's not really something they like didn't use it against you they were stating facts facts like you can't breathe so, yeah, they're just bringing that to your attention. That's different. I don't know why I'm doing this now. I'm stopping. Oh, my God. Then I wanted to, like, hey, everyone, I don't lay down when I sleep. Woo, woo. Let's make a rap about it. Let's no one make has a bunch ever of done hate that. videos about it. Yeah, let's do some. Girl, you got sleep apnea. Yeah, That's all people have been saying. You got sleep apnea. Because, y'all, there are some trolls. Girl, if, if, if you think that, like, Girl, you celebrate your weight more than we do. Like, I hate that. I hate that she it acts as if, like, she's played no part in this. Like, she acts as if, like, she doesn't come on here and make a mockery of her size every time she makes a fucking video. I mean, we could go to her thumbnails right now. We could go to her thumbnails right... Look at this. But it's everyone else, right? It's everyone else who's making a mockery of her size. Every sing everyone else is making a mockery of her fucking size. Girl, it's you. Look at there's like three mukbangs in a row. There's four mukbangs on this row. Like for so bitch, why should anyone give you more consideration than you give yourself? Like I don't understand that. That doesn't make any kind of fucking sense. I just said I just cursed a lot. Shit <laughs> me. So Sleep apnea and still no CPAP machine, right? Because she spent three thousand dollars on iPhones that she doesn't need. Okay. I love technology. A lot of you guys know this. I built my, I, well, I didn't build, I built my computer. My friend pretty much did it for me or whatever, but like I was there for it. I, I helped him as much as I could. I'm not, my hands are too big to do like a lot of computer things. Um, I love technology. I love everything about it. Um, and I, and I save for it and like, I enjoy it a lot. Why Amberlynn needs a new iPhone is beyond me when she clearly needs a CPAP machine and she's not on health insurance. So CPAP machines are expensive. I mean, I know for a fact, like just the cleaning stuff that you need for it, because you have to clean them out a lot, I believe, because it's your breath is going into them and it's pumping oxygen into your, into your lungs. It's forcibly pumping oxygen into your lungs so you don't stop breathing in your sleep. Though that is expensive, especially when you do not have health insurance. So for her to like, spend the three thousand dollars on new iphones like for no reason 
is fucking crazy to me. Like, also, people have been telling her for I don't know how long, for years, that she needs to get health insurance. And yes, they got rid of the individual mandate, so, like, you don't have to pay the... Um, the tax anymore if you don't have health insurance in america thank you thank you gop for that um girl if i swear to god if my health insurance gets fucking fucked with i'm gonna be so pissed that's another tangent i'm not even go there open enrollment's over so you're done if you didn't if you did not apply for health insurance between the months of october and just and i think december 21st like she recorded this on the 21st of december it's done you can't apply for health insurance anymore that $3,000 or whatever she spent on those iPhones, that could have been a good six months of premiums for her, her health insurance. Easy. Easy. So I just, I don't understand, like, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why you would be that big and uh, that unhealthy and not get health insurance. They are not allowed to discriminate against pre-existing conditions. So her weight, her size, her age. Well, actually, they can discriminate against you for your age. That's the one thing I learned when I was signing up with, through the the California Covered California, is the way that they 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 the way that they determine how much money you're going to like be charged per month is your age. So the younger you are, typically the cheaper your premiums are supposed to be because they assume that you're going to be healthier so but they're not allowed to take in the fact that you smoke that you drink that you do all of it they can't look at any of that stuff they're not allowed to do that anymore so why she doesn't take advantage of that is beyond me because in a like before all of that before obamacare she'd never get health insurance i'd never get health insurance Perfectly normally healthy people would not get health insurance because they don't want to. They don't want to pay to like have health insurance companies never want to pay for you to like go and get shit done. So uh, that's why typically you have to have like a full time job with benefits in order to have health insurance in America. But like I don't know why you wouldn't take advantage of the fact that like you can get health insurance now even if you have pre existing conditions, and she makes enough money to pay for it. I know that there are a lot of people out there that don't have the money to pay for health insurance because it is very expensive. She's not one of those people. So I don't understand why she wouldn't do that. Why she would not take full advantage of that. She could pay for, she could get the fucking Escalade, the Cadillac, the Bentley of health insurance plans. Cause you, if you're willing to pay for it, they'll give it to you now. Like if you want to pay for the 700 or whatever dollar a month where like you literally could like go to the president's doctor if you wanted to <laughs> and get health insurance and like get like, the Cadillac care, you can pay for it. They'll let you pay. They don't give a fuck. They're like, you want to pay $900 a month? Sure. Here you go. Like, so I don't know why she wouldn't do that. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. I talked to my doctor about that and blood type, yo, play strawberry. You know me I'm and my dead. awkward self. I was like, yeah, I sleep when I sit up and it's probably sleep apnea because I mean, look at me, you know, I was just making stupid jokes. I'm just like, why do I do that when I'm nervous and like try to just be dumb? Like, I'm just so dumb. Like I can't. And she was like, yeah, that is sleep apnea. <laughs> like she was just Duh. out in front of it and she's like, it is. It's kind of scary to me that I didn't even need to do a sleep test Shop for Sui. a doctor. Hey, hi, babe. Don't get the notification fast really late. Our girl spent thousands of dollars on new phones, but not in healthcare. 2019, starting it out right. <laughs> to straight out tell me that. And that's one thing. Uh, I don't want to get emotional. I got emotional at the doctors. Okay. <laughs> Rewind. That's one thing that I never wanted to be told was that I had sleep apnea. Why? That terrifies me. It, it terrifies me. What is it? You know, it's weird to me is her she doesn't want to be told that she has sleep apnea what about like she doesn't want to cause sleep apnea you know what i'm saying like what about being like you know what one thing i never want to do is like be immobile but like that doesn't scare you like so we're, essentially what she's saying is that like she's more scared of being told that she has sleep apnea but like causing it herself isn't scary i don't know like girl get it together like i'd be scared that like you're gonna eat yourself into that bed like and that's gonna be it for you but like you're more afraid of being told you had sleep apnea oh stupid Ugh, just the thought of it because people can die from that in their sleep and Connor Grice donated two dollars thank you so much hey michael i love the stream and the first time see a hint I, hint see a live 
Anyways, I ran about 10 miles a day prepping for a 100 mile run in a year and was wondering how to overcome serene SS besides rest. Girl, you're asking the wrong, this bitch don't run. Like I go on the elliptical like three days a week. This boy don't run. I don't like to run. I have really bad knees. So I honestly, that would be a question to, to not me. Maybe there's a running subreddit that you can go to and like maybe they'd answer that question for you. I'm the wrong person for that question. I don't know. I don't run. I, I, if I could not run, I would not run. If I didn't need to do some kind of cardio, I would not get on the elliptical. I would probably use a bike, but like I can't. So I don't know. That's not a good question for me, but thank you so much for the super chat. That's the reality of it. That is currently what I'm going through. So, so my bad news doesn't really end there. This is when I began to cry. My like glasses and are hurting. And I was a blubbery mess, and I was emotional because Ugh, like, I no pinching. longer take my antidepressants. So I now feel all my emotions, and I cry every day. Of First of all, that's such a misconception that like if you take antidepressants, you're like numb to the world. That's not the case. A lot of people take antidepressants and they're perfectly happy and perfectly sad. They just don't have like, manic depressant episodes anymore. They're not just like so in the d d deeps all that they they live a more normal life on a more normal spectrum where like have healthy feelings when it comes. It is healthy to be sad sometimes. It is healthy to be happy sometimes. It is healthy to not to be just normal sometimes. You know, like it's all of that thing is healthy. All that stuff is, is encompassing of like a, a mentally healthy person. Just because you take antidepressants doesn't mean you don't feel anything because I'm pretty sure that when she was taking antidepressants, she felt happy about getting orange chicken. She felt ha like you, you still felt things. It just wasn't so, it just wasn't so varying in degrees. So for her to be like all like, oh, when you take, like, that's the thing that gets me the, ugh, that's the thing that really gets me the most. Um, chop suey, I know her blood type is O plus orange chicken law. Um, that's the thing that like really gets me. Thank you so much for the super chat, by the way, Chop Suey. The thing that really gets me is um, there's so much misinformation that is spread on this channel and like channels like her. Like, uh, it fucking, it, 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 it's everything that just suits their needs. Like Chantel does the same shit too. Like when, like why a morbidly obese girl is like talking about doing a water fast and it, trying to pretend that she knows what the fuck she's talking about because she watched a couple of YouTube videos about it is crazy to me. And I don't understand why anyone would want to, like, take her word for anything. Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense to me. And, it like, it, it, it fucking annoys me that there's, like, people that, like, it's fine. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just, like, it's annoying. There's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of misinformation about being fat. A lot of misinformation about, like, what, how antidepressants work. It's, like, how water fasting works. How, like, it's stupid. Like, whenever anyone comes to me and is, like, how did you lose weight or whatever, and I'm, like, well, I had weight loss surgery. And, like, oh, like, what kind of, st like, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about going on this side. I'm thinking about starting this exercise, blah, blah, blah. My advice is always to talk to a medical professional. Like I, I've messaged that on Instagram. I've messaged that on Twitter. I think you should do whatever works for you. But I also think that you should talk to a doctor about it. Like, and I'll support you in whatever you decide. Like, I think that that's like great for you. And like, you should do what you think is going to like benefit you or whatever. But like, I think you should talk to a doctor. Like, and I, that's what I do whenever I have a question or whatever. And I know that not everyone has afforded that luxury of being able to talk to a doctor. Um, but I also don't fucking like come on YouTube and like pretend that I know what the fuck I'm talking about when it comes to like how weight loss works and how like, <laughs> and how I'm going to do this diet and how like I learned all this stuff. And like, I talk in matter of fact ways. Like if you ever have a question, then you should like, you should consult like a real medical prof professional. Sweet over sweats. Um, you're in so inspiring. Michael just started my channel to track my weight loss and I'm down 10 pounds. Congratulations. Thanks so much for the motivation, Petty King. Hey girl, hey. Um, Mercedes, rest. I'm not gonna say your last name because I'm gonna probably say it wrong. Queen of moderation, queen of misinformation. I like that. We should like start like giving her that moniker. Queen of misinformation. So yeah. <laughs> Over at least one thing, but when I was taking Lexapro, I literally was numb to the world. So 
I don't know. Then which you should is have better. gone to your doctor. Well, first of all, you should have gone to a psychiatrist, like the doctor wanted you to, but you refused to make that appointment. I don't care what anyone fucking says. I had a couple people that were like, I, you know, I've tried to get a hold of therapists. I've tried to get a hold of, and it takes a while. It don't take a year. Okay, I'll give you, it might take you a month or two to get in to see someone, it, but you know what? If a real bitch really cared about their life, really cared about their journey, really cared about their emotional and mental well-being, they figure out a way. Where there's a will, there's a fucking way. So for her to sit here, and like, you were supposed to see a psychiatrist, and if you had gone and seen a psychiatrist, you could have been like... So here's how I feel on the meds. Is this normal? The psychiatrist would have been like, maybe no, maybe that's not normal. Maybe this isn't the right uh, medication for you. So let's taper you down and start you on another one. Let's start you with a different SSRI. Maybe let's use one of the old-fashioned ones. Like, there's so many different kinds. Maybe we put you on Pristique. Maybe we put you, blah, blah, blah. There's so many different kinds of antidepressants out there, and they affect people in different ways. You have to find the right one. And if And I always tell people, like, if you're going to go on an antidepressant or whatever, like just be prepared because it's a trial and error thing. Like you're going to feel like a lab rat, unfortunately. It just is what it is. And it's not because they're trying to like pump you full of all the shit. They're just trying to figure out what works best for you because everyone is different and everyone is unique in that way. So, it, but she refused to do that. She refused to go and see the psychiatrist, to see the person that would better understand how to help her feel better when taking antidepressants feeling nothing or feeling everything so yeah this is when i started crying <laughs> and i started talking about weight loss and how i just keep getting weight and i need help like i was begging for help like it was it was embarrassing and i looked over at becky and she was getting teary-eyed and the doctor was just like looking at me with sympathy and i felt <sighs> ridiculous something tells me that like when amber feels stuck in a corner she uses emotions and crying to get what she wants because it's hard to be, like, not critical, but to be, like, real with someone who's sitting in front of you, like, throwing a bait, like, who's blubbering like a baby, you know? So, like, I could, I kind of empathize with a doctor, maybe. The doctor's like, God damn, this bitch is going through it. Like, I'm not about to, like, sit here and, like, it's fucking, like, just destroy this girl's entire psyche. Like, obviously, she's, like, hanging, she's on the edge, you know? I was so ashamed and embarrassed and I literally said the words I just don't understand how I don't ashamed and embarrassed of what like you do Burger King mukbangs like ashamed of embar like have you seen your videos have you like you're not ashamed like sh she's ashamed and embarrassed when it's convenient for her when she can like get something out of those feelings but for the m most part she's not Connor Grice uh, thank you so much for this for their donation going to the gym now you were the quickest person to ask who might have some insight oh i i i'm not a i have a couple friends that are marathon runners and they talk about all that shit and i'm like i have no idea what you're talking about like i would i would i would if there's someone at the gym that looks like a runner maybe ask them i don't know that can be a little sketch um i i think there's like a lot of running subreddits that um and they talk about a lot of stuff like that. So you get a lot of information. Like I know the weight loss surgery subreddit's pretty good about information. I don't take anything they say as like fact, but like if you need some quick like tips real quick, I they do help a lot there. So I would imagine like if you went to like, I'm sure if you went to running, like subreddit running, I'm sure like there's probably, and you typed in what you were looking for, um, it would come up. Can you help me find a weight loss surgeon? Because I want weight loss surgery and I will pay for it. She explained to me that I need insurance because... Lie. You want to know how I know that's a fucking lie? Because I got fucking weight loss surgery and I didn't have my insurance pay for it. I paid for it out of pocket. So I don't... I honestly don't believe that the doctor said that to her. I don't believe that the doctor was like, you can't have weight loss surgery because you don't have health insurance. That's bullshit. That is absolute bullshit. I think the doctor said you can't have weight loss surgery because you're too big. And I don't think another doctor is going to be willing to do that. So that's a lie. I thought we weren't lying today, Amberlynn. I thought this video was a no lying video. Because it is hard to pay just like completely out of pocket. I don't know. She had like all these like terms. And I felt like it was going in one ear and out the other because literally I was hoping she'd just be like. It is expensive to pay for it out of pocket. But guess what? It's doable because your boy did it. 
Okay, he did it. He saved up for it, and he did it. Okay, so it does cost a lot of money. It is not cheap, but you can do it. You don't have to have health insurance to have surgery. They will pay if you are willing to pay for it out of pocket. You're willing to. I I negotiated with my hospital. I negotiated with my surgeon. <laughs> That's so bad. I like bargained for my surgery. I didn't bargain for it, but I was like, look. This is what I'm willing to pay, blah, blah, blah. They give you a quote. I quoted them something back, and they actually, like, agreed to it. And I was like, hell, yeah, I'm going to shave, like, $3,000 off that hospital bill. Like, blah, blah, you know. So it is what it is. And I told that doctor, I am not staying there for more than one night. <laughs> I am in there a night, and I'm gone because I paid for how many nights? One. I paid for Uno night. And so I'm staying here for Uno day, and that is what it is going to be. Like, so that's a lie. How, how much was it? All in all, the surgery, the, the crazy thing is that the surgeon was the, the, um, the cheapest part. My surgeon was like, he cost four, four or $5,000. The hospital bill was 12, 12 to 13. I think all in all, I paid just under 20,000 for it. So, you can pay for it out of pocket. It's expensive as fuck, but you can pay for it out of pocket. All right, let's go get that weight loss surgery. No, I know that's not possible. It's a very long, long process. And mm. so she thinks that I need insurance, obviously. Of course I need insurance. Like, it's just, I haven't gotten it. It's just been so much easier for me to just pay out, pay out of my pocket. Bam, bam, bam. Because like labs, a few hundred dollars. Labs are expensive. Labs are extremely expensive. So I don't know what the fuck she's talking about when it's like labs or whatever. It's like, girl, why not get health insurance and pay the $400 a month or whatever and then have your labs pay for it? Like they, they literally pay for itself. Like, I don't understand. Ultrasounds, a few hundred dollars. Girl, I ain't got no dollars to give. I spent all my dollars on my, my weight loss surgery. Like, you know, typical things that I've been doing has only been a few hundred dollars. But if anything bad or horrible ever happens to me, heart attack and I have to be hospitalized or what if I did have a blood clot and they had to do surgery on me you know these things are like thousands of dollars and yes they're I not thousands of dollars they're hundreds of thousands of dollars if Amber Lynn had to get blood if she had a blood clot and she went to the hospital and had to have surgery that bill would be so insane so so look I had my appendectomy done when I was 20 years old and I had health insurance thank god um the bill was so nuts. It was like $120,000. And then after the adjustments, I think the insurance, after the adjustments, they brought it down to like 15 or 20. I don't know what they brought it down to. So the health insurance company ended up paying like 15,000 or something. And then I ended up having to pay the, the like, like 900 or $1,000 after that. Girl, if Amber Lynn went into the hospital, it's, she would never get out of that hole. I don't care how much money she made on YouTube. If she had to spend three or four nights in a hospital, it'd be done. She would default on that bill so fast. Like, there's no way she'd be able to fucking pay for it. There's no way. There's no way. There's zero way. There's zero way, dude. I do save money, but it's still better to have insurance just in case. I don't know why I'm preaching to the choir. Like, what am I doing? Because you guys have been preaching to me forever. Okay. She said for now to find an insurance company, you know, try to get some insurance going so we can maybe never did one it. day in the future talk about weight loss. She never did it. And then she started explaining to me that she recently lost 60 pounds. It was 250000 for my friend to have her baby. That is nuts. I've heard that before. I've heard of people that, um, that have had to, that have had, um, like, having a baby in America is like so expensive. Like it's so ridiculously expensive. It's like, what the fuck? Like how, wh wh first of all, why are we not paying for these people to have babies? Like that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. But I have heard that before that like having a baby is probably one of the most expensive things you can do in a hospital. I was like, oh my God, amazing job. Because you know me and my stupid jokes. She was talking about how her and her um, co-workers and employees, like in the office where she works, in January they were starting like a weight loss thing, just like within the office. And she was like, I wanna invite you to join us. And every single month 
You don't even have to pay. She literally, she, if you go on her Ask FM, someone asked her about this and she like denied it. She literally didn't on the Ask FM. She's like, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. And someone was like, are you still doing the weight loss competition with the doctor? She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And the guy was like, the guy, the person was like, you literally said like you were going to do the weight loss surgery. She's like, no, I didn't. <laughs> she did. You come in every single month. We can weigh you and you can be a part of this. And I was like, just her thinking of me and literally telling me, I want you to be part of the weight loss journey and competition within my office meant so much to me. I think she just noticed I need the support and I need, you know, the push and the kick. But she didn't you know, do it. Help. It didn't and happen though. <laughs> that just meant so much to me. And something she said to me kind of stuck with me because I was bawling my eyes out and she was just like, you're healthy. Like she, she had my charts in her hand. She was like, you're healthy but you are obese, but we can- fix. You're healthy, but you have poor circulations to your legs, you have sleep apnea, and you have high blood pressure, but you're healthy. I See, I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I believe that the doctor sat there and was like, you're healthy, everything's fine. And everything. I don't know if she said that to like get her to stop crying. Maybe that was a thing. Maybe the person, the doctor was like, I'm gonna tell her what she wants to hear so she'll stop crying and get this bitch out of my office. I don't know, I'm sure that doctor didn't say that. But you know, I, I find it very hard to believe that a doctor was like, you're healthy, but you're like 600 pounds. Um, you have poor circulation to your legs. You have sleep apnea and you have high blood pressure. You got it. You got the trio. Like, it's like, bingo, Yahtzee. Like, I don't understand. I don't see it. I just don't see it, dude. I don't see it. I just don't see it, dude. As someone who weighs considerably less than she does or whatever, like, when I go to the doctor, I get hounded about my weight to this day still. Like, I don't believe that. Like, I don't believe that one second for one second. Ooh. Fix that. And in that moment, I was just like, fuck. In that moment, fuck. like, it just... It's so real, you guys. It, it was crazy fuck. to me because she, she made me realize, like, this is reversible. And before Duh. anything crazy happens to me, we need to reverse this. We need to fix this. And I feel like I am... Literally, everyone has been telling her this for four years. Everyone has been telling her this for, I don't know, since I've been watching her. Like, I, people have been saying, like, you can fix this. You can turn this all around. Like, it's not too late. Like, but she doesn't listen. Like, I don't know. God... She never went. She never went to the fucking weight loss thing, cause in her mind it didn't happen. Now in her mind that never happened. I don't understand. I don't get it. Emma Blue twenty two. No doctor would tell her she's healthy. I don't think she actually went. I think she went. I don't know if this part in particular happened. I mean, she's lied about a lot of things already in the video, so I don't know if this. I think she went to the doctor. I don't think we'll ever really get. I, Personally, okay, a part of me feels weird, but like, I would never go, t if I went to a doctor or whatever, I don't know if I would necessarily come on here and like, talk about it, because per it's not anyone's business, really, like, what, like, it's, it's between me and my doctor, right, but she has decided to like, live her life, where like, all of this stuff is like, fair game, and then, She's not truthful about it. So then people, it's like people, it's like the people like the Gabby show, like, that are like, they want to come on here and they talk about the like intricacies and the intimate details of like their mental health and like what they talk about with their doctor and blah, blah, blah. And then what happens is now people are then afforded to have an opinion. They're allowed to have an opinion, right? Because you're talking about it. If you don't want people to have an opinion on it, you don't talk about it. There's plenty of things in my life that I don't talk about because I don't really think that it's like, do I want it to be fodder for everyone else? Not really. Like it's so it's like, I don't talk about it. Like I'm talking about my love life too much. I don't talk, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, but it, it's annoying when someone comes on here and is like, I'm going to talk about X, Y, and Z, but you can't have an opinion on it. Like, it's like, that's not how this works. Like, everyone's allowed to have an opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. But they're, everyone's allowed to have an asshole opinion. That just is what it is. Like, so if you want to come on here and you want to, like, talk about the, like, intimate details of your mental health or your doctor's appointments and blah, 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 be prepared for people to criticize you. Like, and especially if you're not being open and, and truthfully honest about it or if you're an asshole. Like, because people are getting, you know, and Gabby show, Gabby Hanna is an asshole. So 
I mean, that's proved that's been proven in the past couple of months. I've known she's an asshole. I've known for a while she's an asshole. Anyone that comes on here and like likes to blast every ex that they've had is an asshole. I don't give a fuck what you're I don't give a fuck okay like it's ridiculous I, everyone's been wronged in some way or fit, but she absolves herself of any kind of wrongdoing if if you listen to any this is a Gabby show or whatever if you listen to any of her recounts of her life stories or whatever you want to know what one one common theme of all of her videos are she never does anything wrong that is the commonality in all of them is that all of it was done to her. That's very much like Amberlynn. Everything was done to Amberlynn. She played no part in it. She played no role in it. She had took. She takes no fault. So, Max Mom two thousand four says, "I believe and always will that ALR repeatedly stating over and over again, I'm morbidly obese. I'm a binge eater. I have anxiety. I'm depressed, etc. Is she is just is just to justify her weight. If she if she lost weight, no one would watch her. One hundred thousand watching her die." Thank you so much for the super chat. I agree. I think people like watching the train wreck and I'm not going to like fault. I mean, I'm sitting here doing it too. So like, I don't fault. A lot of people have been like, why are so many people subscribing? Blah, blah, blah. Why do people watch my 600 pound life? Why do people watch intervention? Like, why do people watch Flora Bama Shore? Like people love to watch a train wreck and it just, it's just part of, it's, it's a part of humanity that like, it does it make people inhuman or like does it make people like is it dark no i don't think it's dark i just think it's people have a curiosity and it is what it is romance screams thank you so much for the super can we get a, a petition for michael to rewrite the community guidelines i mean my community guidelines would be like do whatever the fuck you want like just do whatever you want just don't try to like kill people like let's just draw the line at like killing people and like sex pet like sex abuse like other than that go for it do your thing <laughs> It'd be like the wild, wild west of YouTube. Um, Amber's, the, she said, can you tell me what video she says? This is so raw, you guys. Fuck. Um, I don't know the name of the video. I do know that she says it. Ah, fuck, what video was it? Oh, it was in the um, Everything I've Lied About video. I believe it's in the Everything I've Lied About video. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm like... I'm going back into my catalog. I'm going back into my photographic memory that I don't have. And for some reason, that outfit is like popping into my head. That background with a cat litter box without a cover in the corner with all the shit in it. Like that's where I'm being transported back to right now. So, and the bow in the hair with the cardigan. I mean, she's always wearing a cardigan, but like, that's where I'm being transported back to. So that might be the video. So everything I've lied about video, I believe that it's that video. Um, Kristen says, a common billing practice is to charge more if insurance is paying and charge less if a patient is paying. I see it every day in my own practice. That is very correct, Kristen. Um, typically, <laughs> typically, if you, also, if you want, if, I know it sounds weird or whatever, like to bargain with a hospital or whatever, but like if you talk to like the billing eight, the billing people for doctors or the um, the hospital or whatever, if you get a giant bill from the hospital, you can usually like set up a payment plan and then like also um, get the the bill lowered. Like if you are, like if you're like look like I'll be able to give because the doc the hospital want to get paid, okay? The hospital want to get paid because hospitals run in the red a lot. They rarely run in the black. So they want to get paid. So they're willing to like lower the price. If they know that you're going to pay something, they'd rather get paid something than like it be such a big number that you're just not going to pay anything. Because a lot of times what happens is people get a large doctor bill and they don't even like recognize it because they're like, I'm never going to pay this off. So what's the point? Like, I'll just go into bank. I'll just be go bankrupt. Like whatever. Um, Sophie says, sh oh, fuck. Sophie says she can vlog at the Cheesecake Factory and Walmart, but not prove that she actually went to see a doctor. I mean, I wouldn't expect her, thank you so much for the super chat, I wouldn't expect her to, like, take her camera in there with her and vlog her doctor's appointment. I mean, I know I did, but, like, that was just because I wanted to show people what it was like to get Botox for migraines, because a lot of people have, like, this misconception that, like, you only get Botox if you're, like, trying to, like, not get wrinkles and shit like that. Like, no, you get Botox when you have a lot of things. I know people that get Botox because they sweat too much. I think there's people that bo get Botox when they have, like, tremors, too. I've heard of people getting them when they have, like, weird tremors. Um, but yeah, um, uh, Meredith, I find it odd that Becky goes in with her, like her mom. Thank you so much for the super chat. I find that extremely odd too. Um, I don't know. I would, 
I've heard of a lot of doctors or whatever, especially when you're an adult, like they don't like to have other adults in the room because it can like muddle the conversation a lot because they want to talk directly to the patient. Granted, if you're, if it's someone who is like, who, whose mental faculties are not completely there or whatever, like obviously then um, you're going to need to have someone in there to help like decipher or like communicate like extra things that are going on if they're not able to. But for, it's from my understanding that like, like there have been times, especially when I was younger or whatever, like I remember because my, my grandma was like a, a tiger mom. She's not a tiger mom, but like she was like very like, uh, like hands on, like, and the doctor, like I, would, I remember I was like 16 years old or 17 years old and like the doctor would come into the room and um, she, she, she'd be like, okay, Michael, like what's going on, blah, blah, blah. And before I could even say a word, the other doc, the, my grandma would be like, oh, well, this is going on. And then. The, I remember my doctor had to be like, you need to let him talk. Like, he's 16 years old. He's a big boy. He needs to be able to communicate what's wrong with him because I need to hear it come out of his mouth. I need to not hear it come out of your mouth. I need to come out of his mouth. So from what I understand is, like, when you're an adult, typically they only want you to come back there. Because like, they, they, cause they, the other person can, like, confuse or they can make the – the appointment more confusing than it needs to be. The doctor needs to hear it from the mouth. Like, this is what is happening. So, and from One the person the that's happening too. Because there are people my size, people smaller than me, people who are at a healthy weight, who are unhealthy and who have. This, a, this is like a whole other like body positivity argument or whatever. It's like, I'm fat, but like, why is it that like a skinny person has high blood pressure and someone. Okay, no one has ever stated that, like, be, when you are fat, you are going to have everything under the sun wrong with you, right? And, and no one has ever stated that if you're at a healthy weight, you are perfectly healthy. Clearly, people have fucking diseases and stuff that are not related to them being fat. And, yes, you can be at a healthy weight and, have, uh, and be unhealthy. No one has ever argued that. But I hate that that is, like, the argument that um, body positivity people have, like, started to push now. It's like, oh, well... I may be fat, but at least I don't have high blood pressure or whatever. It's like, well, you don't have high blood pressure yet. So, like, let's not even pretend. But, like, let's also not pretend that, like, just because you're fat, you're not going to get cancer one day. Or, like, you know, like, it's stupid to, like, th yes, a skinny person can be unhealthy. But when you are overweight or extremely overweight or morbidly obese, your chances are a lot higher. Like, and that's what people are saying. Like, yes, could a skinny person have a heart attack? I know. I mean, I go on K-pop subreddit or whatever. There's two women recently that died at an extremely young age of heart attacks. Extremely young age. And they were otherwise healthy. They were at a normal BMI, but all of that stuff. But they were at a... That, that is a rare case. So, like, it, their chances of having, like... If they had been se severely overweight, they may have died sooner. Or, like, if you are extremely overweight, you're just upping your chances. It's like rolling dice. Like, so, you know, would you rather roll like 10 dice and like hope that like you don't get it or roll or would you rather have like a one in 20 chance of having a heart attack or a one in five? Like that's the difference, right? Horrible problems. And I'm just like grateful that my body is trying to fight as hard as possible. So this is, Another like her body is like an like its own entity like she's not in control of her body like her body is like it's fucking crazy it's the binge monster's body it's not her body bad news which with the sleep apnea and then what i'm about to tell you guys probably doesn't seem like i'm healthy but it could be worse that is something that everyone should focus on and they should always be grateful for the health that they do have. But I've always, always, always had a little bit of an elevated high blood pressure. It's never been super high. That's something I've never experienced. Besides, when I was on a weight loss pill called Phentermine, mm, that's the only time my blood pressure has been stroke level. But I've always had elevated blood pressure. And again, today, I used to have elevated. bad blood pressure. I used to be on blood pressure medication and I'm not anymore. And I got my blood pressure Losing taken weight. today while, <laughs> after I was done Delphia walking, Mafia. while Thank you so I was for the at my doctor's office, puffing and puffing, um, and it was elevated. Yeah, most doctors, so you can't. I, I guess I can't really say that that's technically bad news because it's always been like that. It's always been just 
the teensy tiniest elevated but every time I've gone to like a doctor or I've gone to the ER or just whatever reason I've gotten my blood pressure taken I've never been diagnosed medicine they've always told me you know it's fine it's fine it's fine and today I was diagnosed a high blood pressure medicine you were prescribed me, you were prescribed a high blood pressure medicine not diagnosed was pretty eye-opening it just made me realize that this doctor cares this doctor is there for me my blood pressure wasn't any higher than it normally has been just that like just a michael did you know a few people have said that her weight was recorded at 607 pounds on her fitbit and she deleted it and then uploaded a weigh-in video telling us she's fi about 560 plus did not know that if that's true then that's scary honestly if she gets so pissed when people are like i beat i think you're 600 pounds it's not that it's girl you've pretty much proven everyone right when they've said things like that so it's like i don't really think that it's like that far-fetched for people to be like you might be 600 pounds like little elevated and she still wants to help me and that makes me she like has to minimize like her high blood pressure that's another thing that i've noticed that like a lot of like bigger people or like body positive people do too it's like i, I kind of have a little bit of high no but you have high blood pressure pressure like that's just is what it is feel happy because i don't feel like just another client she wants me there for the weight loss competition and she said message me whenever you can. ls thank you so much for the super chat woot woot good job getting off blood pressure meds dude I hate to take blood pressure meds. They made me feel like shit. But I'm so glad I'm not on them anymore. And a lot of people are confused about this because I do talk about the health portal, which if you guys have a doctor, y'all need to get the health portal. Talk to your doctor's office about it. It's honestly amazing. Why is she, see, this is what bothers me. She like preaches this shit like she does it herself. Bitch, you don't. Like, you're annoying. You can literally email your doctor. And it's t almost 2019. I know that sounds crazy to email your doctor. Like what? Because I know as a child, you couldn't email your doctor. At least I don't think you could. <laughs> but now there's an app, which I'm pretty sure you can go on from like. All right. It's just like a health portal me. thing at the end. I it's don't just care. just to be like, you know, I don't know. It was You're annoying. I'm over it. All right. So what did we learn? The doctor's appointment didn't go as she had planned. Yeah. <laughs> She's a full, she's, dude, she's crazy. Should we do this one? Let's do this one real quick. I watch, I started watching Swing it. in. I vlog, I feel like this is where I've been starting my vlogs at, just sitting on the bed, wearing my attire that I slept in, because that's just, you know, how I roll, I guess. Ding! Becky told me to do that. I don't know. So, yeah. Oh, and I was wearing a cardigan. Don't you dare come for Daily Grace like that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not a really big fan of Daily Grace anymore, but... Yeah, and so I took that off because your girl. Was What's getting... up with all these big girls coming for people's brands? Okay, I'm just kidding. What? I am obsessed with this pillow. Pillow is fucking ugly. That Eric and Ricky got me for Christmas. I love it so much, and it's just like it's one of those pillows that are like kind of hard. I don't know. It's it's pretty great. It's a decorative so... pillow. Yes. I. Yeah. Oh my god, I miss this. I miss the days of her filming herself on you now with her phone. These are like I'm the on best. You now right now. I'm currently vlogging you guys, so. Um, Do you see yourselves in there? What is your next weigh in? I'm not entirely sure right now. But there will definitely be a weigh in, I promise. Did you ever get new makeup? Yes, a lot of it. <laughs> and still got a sty. Let's see. Goal weight. My goal weight is 170 pounds. Oh my gosh. I feel like that's never going to happen, but we can all hope. I just got to try. <laughs> so right? This person is putting fat, 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 fat. I'm fucking dead. It that's was so funny. mean. <laughs> let your cat in. Get up and let your cat in. Door for him. Oh my gosh. So rude. A double. Oh. <laughs> Hi, baby. I feel like what the first time we've seen her cats in so long. We still have to put all our Christmas stuff down in the basement. <laughs> it is a mess. But this when she says we, like, she means Ricky. Go to spot, isn't the it? The town, baby? the house so troll, the, the house elf. Right now, Becky and I are playing Mario Kart. I'm Cat Peach, and I'm in first place. How do you feel about them apples, babe? Well, considering that I was first the other day. Why are you breathing hard? I feel so great about it. 
<laughs> well, it's my well, turn to be first. Turn to be first. <laughs> it's because I'm sick. Oh, oh, oh your sickness has affected your video game playing? Girl, I can't. I'm fucking dead. Poor miss when I'm sick. Is that what it is? Yeah. You see smoke like this? You never know if someone is just burning their trash or if there's like a fire going on. That's great. I'm so glad people are just burning their trash. That's awesome. Oh, someone's burning their trash. <laughs> That's so great. Awesome. Love it that. Hurts. Love that for us. Love that for say? humans. Alice in Chains. Alice in Chains. And it's a concert. It's like a tour shirt. Oh, okay, me. I want to know, does she really listen to this music? or whatever? Because I swear to God that, like, she, whenever they're in the car, whatever, we never hear her listen to any of this music. Like, is she one of those people that, like, wears a Ramon shirt and doesn't even know what the Ramones is? Like, that's, like, a thing. Like, where, like, I've, there have been so many people that have, like, that just go and wear, like, Nirvana shirts or remote. Like, I don't wear it because I don't really listen to it. Like, but, and they always are, like, they don't even know that, the, that it's a band. Like, they don't even realize that it's a band. Like, I almost feel like it's that. Oh, from 2014. It's cool, right? Yeah. Does Becky have a mullet? Go. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> she got this at the mall today. I was working my butt off. Oh, there's Ricky doing yeah, chores. We saw we really saw the house elf. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Someone needs to <laughs> No, I'm not gonna say it's it. Gonna good on <laughs> I'm gonna you. Say it. Yeah. I like that like lime green yellowish color. Has has has, has, has Ricky been presented with green. clothes yet? Really. <laughs> it's crazy. Good job. Someone No, he's so happy. <laughs> Oh, you're so excited. I wonder if he's accidentally been presented with you're clothes so yet. And Trixie. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. But, uh, post myself. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so part of me, I was talking to um, some friends about it or whatever. A part of me thinks that the reason why she got the new iPhone is because she is, she could be, she could be fucked to like have to download her fucking, her, her, uh, her, oh my god, what's the word? her videos from her camera onto her Mac and then edit it from there on an iPhone. She just like, she wants to go back to just doing it all strictly on the iPhone, which is so lazy. Hey, it's Kay. Thank you much for the super chat. It's always uh, makes me laugh when AL is on you now, cherry picking the hell out of these comments and anything remotely positive. What dedicate? I know dude, that would feel like real hard. Like if, every, if I came on here and everyone would just like fucking die, like blah, blah, I would be like, Maybe I'm just not going to go on there. Like, maybe it's not worth it. It's not worth it for my emotional well-being to, like, come on here and be, like, torn apart all the time. Oh, my God. Let's keep going. Hi, guys. So, this is a weigh-in. Highly requested. It's not a live weigh-in because I already weighed myself <laughs> before this was highly requested. But my next weigh-in will be live. But uh, posting this, I'm ashamed, nervous, but I'm also very hopeful. January 2019 Yikes. at 560 pounds. I'm doing a front shot, both sides, and a back what shot. What is that arm motion I want thing? to use this to this? motivate me, to motivate others, and I am very embarrassed posting this. But no, I'm you're not, girl, you because you know it's going to make you hella money. Back on like, here let's be real. And see changes. I will be posting them monthly. I want to wear the same exact outfit so I can get a better reading. And I also walk forward. She has like this giant mass right here. Like it, if you notice, like this one isn't as big. Like they're these, that's not good. When you have like masses like that on your abdomen, like that's not good. And I walk backwards <laughs> just to get an idea of where I'm at. So that was my weigh for That's you guys. So that is what I weighed at the beginning of this year. It has been so requested. <laughs> Aviana Silverman, thank you so much for the super chat. I never laugh so hard. That's an ugly pillow. Girl, it's an ugly pillow. I don't like that pillow. The starting of this year. So there it is, 560. Very, very upset with myself because that is the highest I've ever weighed. Um, I will talk in a different video about what I'm doing to lose weight. Because that's a very common question that I'm also getting. And we but need to split up the videos for the AdSense. But, uh, yeah. Hey. I'm going to do full body shots. Okay. I don't want to do everything in one video. Overwhelm people. Overwhelm people. You are out of breath. Things to talk about. She is so out of breath. You guys, because 
y'all like my uploads i love uploading so anyways now i'm rambling so i'm gonna end this vlog i know it's a short one my videos have been very short the last few that i've uploaded hey it's bittersweet because you can like hear her editing video, out the breathing oh, you make but <laughs> that's okay i don't want to just like talk and create a long all right video. let's do okay Amberlynn Reed, New Year's. All right, this was one year ago. This was one year ago. Hey guys, to wear makeup or Damn, to not she looks wear makeup? Smaller. That is the real question. So I asked people on Twitter last night if you guys have been enjoying. She my has eyebrows. Vlogs and the majority of you said she has yes, eyebrows in this video. Percent. So thank you very much. I know not everyone has Twitter, but I also asked people what time they prefer me to upload my videos. I said like around 12, around three. She actually sounds sick in this video, but she sounds like she can breathe better in this video, which is ironic, right? Around six or around nine. And I feel like currently the poll is like majority of people around six Eastern time. So that's the time I have my videos going up anyway. So perf. Turn this puppy on. This on. So I still have not even put away all my Christmas presents or just the random things that I bought for myself. What happened so to the Nutri Ninja? My right now is to clear off this table. She couldn't even do this now. I don't want to listen to so the music. Becky is making some spaghetti for us to eat. I like to use shells. And she's going to be using regular, like, spaghetti pasta. So if you guys remember from my a box of pasta yesterday, each. I bought four of these buy drinks in a can. I've had both of these before, but Becky wanted to try them, so she got these. So I think I'm going to try one. Oh, didn't she get these and, like, hate the them? Bolivia Black Cherry. I think she hated them, didn't she? I get really nervous to try new things, and I know a lot of people are like, Amber Lane, it's just a drink. Damn, look how much smaller Becky good. looked. It tastes good. Oh my God, Becky, do you want to try it? Yes. Look at how much smaller Becky looks. Isn't that good? I love that lesbian haircut. Zero for 10, so what into it. it. So into it, daddy. How about a seven? A seven? I'd rate it like a nine. Why nine? Because it's good. That's a can I speak to your manager uh, haircut? Because that's the best thing you've tasted. I don't know. There's a life in her. You like that too? There's so much life in her eyes. Right now, that I'm one's pure sugar. That's why you like that one more. Which is right here. And I'm gonna put it up in this cabinet. Remember yesterday when I said- Can I we clean those cabinets? Cabin Jesus Christ, can we get a fucking wash rag and like clean the cabinet? My God. It's a lot of dirt. It looks like, what is that? Mouse droppings right there? Like Jesus Christ. I wasn't kidding. I literally only kept corn and green beans. Yesterday from the store, I got this basil pesto stuff to add. <laughs> To like oh, I missed the super chat. Ella said, salmon. give Ricky Elle's juice. dirty bra yeah, so you can be free from and burn it. Put them up here. <laughs> Chill. And the deed is done. What are you doing, Twink? Oh, what are you doing, <laughs> And Chubbs. By the way, huge update. My kitties love their cat tree. My cat loves his cat tower excited. too. So I came in here last night and Rarity was sleeping up on here and Wasabi was sleeping up on there. Moose loves his so fucking adorable. cat tower. So we decided to go to the movies. We're gonna see downsizing and we just got here. We're about 20 minutes early. So we're gonna go in, get our tickets. I might get a drink or something. You excited to see the movie? Very. Could you imagine, could low, honestly, First of all, she looks smaller in this video, which is crazy, but she's still big as fuck. The th could you imagine being like, hey, babe, um, we're going to do full body shots. So here, grab the camera and follow me and record me walking through the parking lot of this public place. Like, I would die. I would die. Come to the movies with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's not great. Got to get the Diet Cokes in. Oh, so we weren't trying yet. <laughs> so Apparently we weren't trying. Oh my God, her Pioneer Woman phase. Pioneer woman. Look at how cute these things are. 
Those look like urns. This is a cutting board. Those look like urns. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then these cute little get-ups here. This is literally the type of plate I need when I'm on a diet. Let's be real. Look how pretty. That's not a plate, this you is idiot. gorgeous. It this looks like fake. It looks like fake rustic shit. I wouldn't, I'd hate that. I don't that, want any of mm -hmm. that. We also have these. This really cute box for recipes. Because we know you so follow pretty. recipes, like, girl. Salt pepper shaker. That is oh, the video. Dude, I went to the DVD bin when I was doing my giveaway stuff. So we're in Walmart. We're actually about to check out, but I wanted to do, like, a little mini haul. All these things, well, most of these things we needed... Some of them we might have just wanted. So I got some brown rice. I'm just starting my grocery shopping a little bit early. I got two of these tricolor quinoas. I am getting a ton Is that clue? of seaweed. All this in Maui onion. And then I'm getting all these in sea salt. These are a great snack to have. I also got two How would you know? of this veggie pasta. Becky is very upset that we're buying Barilla, but you know. We're getting a box of Kind Bars and dark chocolate almond. That has a lot of sugar for a protein box bar. And caramel almond and sea oh, salt. Oh, it's not a protein so bar. We saw Psych. A few movies that we wanted. Becky's getting Constantine. Isn't that on Netflix? And Elizabeth Town. I mean, I love me some Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves could get it. I fucking love Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is so fine. Like he is. I think he's hotter than Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. You gotta fight me. Uh, send my. We could drop a pin. We could fight. I do not care to the storm and we are the millers so i'm getting these clear containers this one's for the brown rice this one's for the veggie pasta and that one's for the quinoa and this over here is actually going to be for the quest bars i saw someone else on youtube do that and i was like that's such a good idea i'm also going to get this charger it's a usb cable it's just to make my charger longer we're getting some quest just bars to make my we're getting longer. the chocolate chip cookie i dough. fucks with quest bars oh, really hard if y'all know me the, the strawberry cheesecake quest bar is I eat one every day. I love them. The blueberry muffin and the chocolate brownie. We're also getting the white ra white chocolate raspberry kind and the cookies and cream. And then for new cookies and cream ones aren't that good. New Year's, I got this black table cover. We're going with a black and gold theme, obviously. If you have time, can you react to Chantel? Please? No, I don't want to react to Chantel. Sorry. I'll talk about her, but I did not want to react to her. So I'm actually going to be getting gold paper plates too. I totally forgot them, but we're doing gold paper plates, gold napkins, gold silverware. I got this pack of New Year celebration party kit and it's gold and black. I love these are, I love the vlogs where it's just Amber's hand touching tons of shit. Like it, it, it just, it's like nostalgic. Like it's, it's quality. It's quality content and I love it. There's party hats, printed tiaras, Hawaiian lays, and horns. And then we're getting the game Clue. And we're so getting was this like not the New Year's this vlog? This peculiar chair. Uh, chill no. Oh, God. Becky looks so much small. I mean, she looks big here, but she looks so much smaller than like what she looked like in the last video I watched. She's done a 2014 New Year's resolution. Let's watch this one. Hey you guys, so first video of the year. Can we believe this? It's 2017. It's weird 17, seeing her with eyebrows. 2017, like who, what, when, where, how? Like 17 years ago, it was 2000. I feel like it was just yesterday that it was 2000. <laughs> I don't know, that's just me. What about you guys? <laughs> the, a part of me like with the iPhone vlogging too is like, she doesn't realize, like, I, we have, like, this, pretty much have the same camera. That camera does a lot of, like, wonders. Like, it does a lot of, like, it makes you look really good. And, like, the iPhone is not as flattering. Like, the vlogging camera, or, like, the, the front-facing camera, it's not as, it's not as, uh, as flattering as, like, the, that camera is. Like, so, we're gonna get a lot more of, like, really bad skin shots, I think. So everything just feels so different already in 2017. Like the trees look different, the breeze feels different, the music is more better. Okay. Oh anyway, yeah. Literally every time it's a new year, I just feel like a new woman. I actually enjoy this Amberlynn. Like so she's full of things. shit, but like, like I this butt at life, Amberlynn was a little bit cooler. Life decides to kick my butt. 
but we're gonna change that this year. So I'm gonna be cliche AF and yes, I'm gonna Mama. do some resolutions for you guys. Um, I'll be my first one is a weight loss one. Duh. <laughs> It's not um, an Amberlynn channel like without a weight loss when journey. You, like, wish for something and then it doesn't happen because you put it in the air. Whatever. Um, you I speak power to truth pounds. or truth to power. If I do, that would be 100 pounds down overall. That would be amazing. We went the opposite um, way. I feel like that's just me pushing it. But I really would like to reach 300s in general. So if it was like 399, 398, that'd be awesome too. But the bar so low. That would be 100 pounds down girl yes um, so she was 495 is, i want to be more motivated to was she 495 this. during this 385 that would be 100 pounds down 485 girl yes um now another she's one almost is, 585 i want to be more motivated to do things i want to be motivated to clean to go out to film videos to just she was so energetic back why did this mute your shit did she like, was so energetic I back really, then i really really want to be just more motivated in general about everything cuz i feel like my motivation has dwindled lately and that's like not girl cute. if you only knew what you had in store for you <laughs> i can't i have my list down here so that's why i keep looking down um i want to move more like whether it's just walking up and down the stairs an extra few times a day or whether it's walking Twinkie for this was after more than Destiny minutes, broke up with her right a day because that's what we do I walk her three times a day for 10 minutes it's literally nothing and I feel like her and I both need a little more walking if you know what I'm saying um or even if it's just like if I'm sitting in bed watching YouTube videos which I do do a lot I am a YouTuber so I do like to watch fellow YouTubers <laughs> wink wink um oh god sitting in bed between each <laughs> You don't i hate it i hate it when she stretches. thinks she's being like charismatic being far-fetched right now but girl i want to think positive yes yeah more. for whatever reason just move more. i mean i guess um, you have to pretend like you fake it till really you make it right so she's gonna to pretend to be positive until she actually feels positive mentally in just all aspects of life i feel like i put myself in the back burner a lot Girl, your life literally revolves around you. Like, everyone around in your orbit is, like, sucked into your black hole. Like, everything has to do with you. Everything is about you. Like, the, to sit here and pretend that you constantly put put yourself behind to do for others is such a fucking lie. Like, everything is revolving around your schedule, your needs, your wants. Like... Uh, I hate it when she does that. Like everyone is like selfish to some extent, but Amberlyn is vi like all Amberlyn is about Amberlyn all the time. Like, come on. For everyone, um, I try to put everyone first. I put my pets first. I put my friends first. I put Destiny first. And it's not that I want to be selfish, because definitely. Oh, this not. was That's before not, Destiny. Uh, um, who I am? I'm definitely not a selfish person at all like if you know me you know that christina lopez thank you so much um, for the super chat i just really chat. want to put myself first just a few times i want to do things for me and take care of myself and i don't know i feel like that's really important for everybody to you know be like that sometimes in their life but don't forget it's about so the cold in my room right now you know you know <laughs> find balance <laughs> um another one is <sighs> This one isn't really up to me. It's obviously. weird seeing her with like eyebrows. Like, I don't know why I'm, I'm like, like so fascinated, but I need to get my to eyebrows done. If you know you my unibrow is so strong them. right now. That's not right. If you're in control, do you know what I'm saying? I'm not in control of this one, but I would love to reach 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's crazy. She's at 105 now. Was, uh, that's a little much. But I gained girl. If you only knew, if you only knew that doing that gaining a hundred pounds <laughs> and doing Burger King mukbangs every week was gonna get you hundred thousand, if you only knew what you had in store for you, girl. Nine actually, about twenty nine thousand subscribers. In That's crazy. She's at twenty nine thousand. Yeah, in one year I gained twenty nine thousand. It's crazy to me that she put her life so in jeopardy and put her life and her health. And she just essentially traded that in for, like, being YouTube infamous. And I'm not going to say YouTube famous because she's not YouTube famous. She's YouTube infamous. Subscribers, wow. Thank you guys so much. 
Love you guys. <laughs> Love you guys so much that like, I'm going to do a fake do giveaway. Again? I don't really know. I really don't. That's something that I think about. And I mean, if I don't reach 50,000. Like, I miss this style. <laughs> like, I don't like the new shit. I don't like the new Torrid shit at all. Like, at all. I'm not a big fan of, like, the stuff that she's gotten from Torrid. Because she doesn't wear them right. Like, I think that would be... If she wore them correctly, like, if she wore them f front... Like, the, the front and the front and the back and the back, I think I would like it more. But it just looks weird on her body because she wants to wear all her shit backwards. I don't know... I don't... It, to me, that's something, like, a five-year-old would do. Like, a five-year-old would be like, no, Dad, I want to wear it this way. Like, it's so weird that she refuses to wear her shit correctly like it, i don't get it that's okay but it's something that i kind of have a dream about like fifty thousand subscribers that would be amazing okay but again that's not up to see you. like to you. i mean at this point i was already kind of like over amberlin or whatever but like there seems to be like the teensiest bit of humility in this video like there's a, the teensiest bit or at least she's faking it well enough like it, I don't that doesn't exist anymore like it's done now you guys if you like my video subscribe um I want to drink more water and one of her latest you you now chats Ayala said she thinks the person who received the gift card lied about it well I know that's not true <laughs> we know for a fact that he never received it and she never sent it because when we sent him the gift card he got it and posted pictures of, a, of him getting it so she's full of shit. Um, I don't mean I want to cut out diet soda completely because that's never probably ever going to happen. I am a diet soda fiend. Like, I love diet soda so much. Um, the bad part is I've been drinking some regular soda lately. Girl, no. I need to stop. Put the brakes and stop. I haven't I had regular soda in regular so soda. long. It's been like if I need two, soda, two like and a half years. If I need soda, whatever. If I'm I haven't had soda, soda in two and a half years because I, I, I can't drink carbonated diet. things. But um, I will drink. I'm a, I want to try drinking water just whenever I'm thirsty. But if I'm craving diet, that's okay. But yeah, I just She's already drink like water water she always like gives it. herself permission. She always gives herself permission to like not do what she's gonna do right like everything even when she was talking about like her new year stuff or whatever she's like i'm gonna try or i'm gonna attempt or i'm gonna it, no just do it <laughs> speak truth to power and just say you're gonna do it and just follow through with it and do it don't say you're gonna like do it but then every once in a while you might do this no you're already like giving yourself permission to fail like that doesn't that doesn't help so amazing for you it does so many amazing things for you and it's like water is free okay not really i do pay a water bill boo but water you know it's just it's there remember when she made becky get her a glass or a thing of water from starbucks <laughs> all the time chilling waiting for you to drink it bathe in it all that type of stuff so why not use it um i want to make healthier choices in food um a perfect example is because i am probably sort of kind of possibly maybe could be counting calories because that is really just that's something the that's been the so that's been the constant the absolute constant in amberlyn's uh youtube career is she's always counting calories always and it never works it never fucking works so like I don't know why you would set yourself up to be like, I'm going to do 2,000 calories. I'm going to do 3,000. I mean, she couldn't even do 3,000 calories. Remember when she was trying to do 3,000 calories and she couldn't even do 3,000 calories? I don't know why she chooses to, like, continue. I think it's because she wants to fail. To lose weight is count calories. I know a lot of people disagree with this. That's okay. Everyone has different opinions. But, um... I don't think anyone's to... ever... Like, I think, I think a lot of people tell her not to count calories because it doesn't work for her. Counting calories works for a lot of people. But counting calories doesn't work for her. To lose weight is to eat less calories than you normally do. So, um, what I mean by healthier choices in food is, let's say I have 300 calories left for the night. And my options can be 300 calories of potato chips, 300 calories of apples. <laughs> 
I was trying to just use an example. She, she's like, um, oh, I've never. She like throws so, up in her mouth. It's like thirty colors of apples. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, this bitch are going to eat apples. That I think that's the one thing that people always were um, criticizing her about is when she talks about her counting calories thing is because. She never, ever leaves, ends a night with a surplus of calories, right? She always will make sure that um, she will hit that calorie goal. And then she always ends up going over it. So I think that that's, like, one of the reasons why people have always been like, girl, bye. Instead of choosing the chips, I want to try choosing the apple. Mm, We'll see. Like, I just want to try, you know, making those little changes, yeah, like who's with me on that? I don't one? think like, she was on Lexapro during this. In general, just for life, she hadn't whole. seen a doctor like, in years. Whether it's even mental health or choices, like if I want to film a video that I know is going to get me a lot of hate, if you will, um, I want to sit with myself and be like, "Am I willing to accept the hate?" Is this going to be healthy for my mindset? Girl, if she could put that, if she, could, she, if she could speak that truth to power, that would be amazing. Like, where is that kind of, like, thought process happening right now? Like, I don't feel like any of that happens with anything she posts. And she doesn't give a fuck what it's going to do or what ripple effect it's going to have. I'm not even in the camera. She doesn't even care what kind of ripple effect it's going to have. As long as it makes her some kind of money, she's going to do it. What? Um, I know hate comes no matter what. Like, that's just how it is on YouTube. Ooh, unfortunately. Um, People are going to have something wanna, to like, say no matter really what. look at things from a different perspective and be like, is this right for me? Is the chips right for me? Is this video right for me? I it is abnormal the amount of hate she gets, though. <laughs> like, but that's all her own doing. And my Like, I get people that don't one. like me and say shit all the time, but it's like, whatever. And I feel like everyone needs to do most of these things. But this one I am preaching to you guys to do. Just be more positive. Be a more positive person. You can wake up and be more positive. I promise you that. Like, Ugh, They remind me of, like, those really bad pastors. <laughs> like, her and Chantel. Like, they preach. They preach what they don't. They practice what... They don't practice what they preach. They're like those pastors that, like, that talk about monogamy and, like, all... And then are, like, having affairs on their wives. Or, like, they talk about, like, not, you know... Who was that one pastor from Texas who was, like, always so anti-gay? And then it turned out that he was, like, smoking meth and, like, having tons of sex with gay prostitutes. Like, it's... It, it, it reminds me of that. Like, it's such a... It's a hypocrisy. It's, like, a level of hypocrisy that, like, just gets so under my skin. Because it's, like, you don't practice what you preach. So, like, sit on here and tell, like, your audience to, like, do this, do that, and then you don't do it yourself. Like, how about you just, like, lead through your actions and not through your words? Like, how about that? Like, how about you just fucking do what you say you're going to do and don't even say it. Just do it. And then by... And that... Through that accord the people that you want to affect some change in will just naturally do it because they're seeing you do it. But they don't think it that way. They think that, like, getting on here and making a 20-minute video of them rambling about how they, like, looked up some pseudoscience on YouTube is the... Ted Haggard. I love how his last name is Haggard. Um, They think that, like, going on here and, like, preaching to, like, their audience about, like, what they should do and how they should change their life. Like, no, bitch, how about you just change your life? Like, focus on your life. Just wake up. If you feel like you're going to have a bad day, just be like, no, bitch, no. (laughs) Like, I'm going to be positive. Let's do this. Let's kick it in the high gear. We can do this. I feel like positivity is something that you can choose. It's not really something that's just there. I feel like you choose to be positive, and there's something positive in almost anything. This is before she realized, I don't know, dude. Um... So for me, I'm already a pretty positive person. I try my hardest to look at things with like two sides. That's just what I do with everything. But I just feel like I want to just purposely be even more positive than I already Her am. knuckles are lighter in this video. It. I definitely do. Um, and I feel like being more positive in life leads to a happier life and just better vibes. And like when people are around you, they're going to want to be around you versus... Not too sure if I want to spend time with Amber Lynn today. Mm, like, you just don't want that for yourself. So, just spread you just don't positivity. Want that for yourself. Be positive, And I'm sure you'll feel so much better. Because I know firsthand if I wake up and I'm like, 
Today's gonna be a horrible day. I just know it, and I just keep thinking that. Then it's gonna be a horrible day. Evelyn but... Rose, thank you so much for the super chat. You are an awesome young man. You make me smile, witty boy. Yes, I have a baby when we're watching. <laughs> thank you so much for the super chat, Evelyn Rose. I'm glad you are enjoying. You wake up She's and a like, positive person, guys. Positivity spread off, sunshine and rainbow sunshine. Make today sunshine okay. and rainbows. I'm gonna make today good. I'm gonna make it better than bad. And I'm going to be positive. This, I'm over this sermon. Honestly, if I wanted a fucking sermon like this, I'd go to church. Like, I'm over it. Um, and something else is I want to redeem myself from the people who really think I'm a certain way when I'm not. <sighs> that didn't happen. That sure as hell didn't happen. Um, again, that's not entirely up to me. That's entirely up to other people. No, that is not other people's job for you to, like, regain their confidence. Like, you lost people's respect because of the actions you took. It's not other people's job to, like, make you feel better. Like, be a better person, and people will gradually treat you better. But you didn't do that. You've doubled but, down yeah, on your let's nonsense. hope for an amazing 2017. 2016 has been cry-cry. Um, but, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And Little does she one. know. Mwah. Bye! Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. That was a roller coaster ride. That was a roller coaster ride. A roller coaster ride. <laughs> it's it's crazy to see the difference. So that was 2017. So we didn't see the tw well. I thought that was a 2018 one, but I guess it wasn't. So she must. I don't know. There must be a different video with her. Oh, that's right. She got sick. So like. It wasn't really her New Year's one. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right. Well, I've been on here for two hours and five minutes. <laughs> It's been a long ass fucking time. Um, I'm glad I'm back. I'm glad that I'm able to chat with all of y'all once again. Um, thank you everyone who came in tonight and thank you everyone that like sent me super chats. Greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna try to film a video this weekend. It all depends on, how, fuck, I have like, I have to take her to two doctor's appointments on Friday. So it's just all gonna depend on like what happens. But um, thank y'all so much for, for tuning in thank y'all for sticking by me thank y'all for subscribing um and until next time toodles <laughs>